All right, we are live in Periscope. That's Periscope. Hello. <laughs> Daniel and Periscope and Zoltan with Facebook. We just received a box full of Fetch Shark Transformers and another box full of Transformer Binocular Viewers. There we go. Would that be an Autobot or yeah, no, a it's just a Fetch Shark. Fetch Shark. And then that's FSV 1104. And this is FSV 1102. Now this one is just the binocular viewer and that one has the transformer including the monitor and everything inside. So the package here includes and then you can read it as well. What is that? Okay, uh, see this one, well? the package yeah. card. So that is FSV 1101 720p monitor with diversity receiver. Uh, the antenna is not included comes with an 18650 cell lithium ion battery holder, uh, battery and charger are of course not included. Uh, FSV1103 full panel viewer, power extension cable, screen and lens cleaning cloth, and it comes with a helpful manual. That's good, so that's that, and then the, turn on, uh, the binocular viewer, it has an FOV of 55 degrees, adjustable IPD, between 55 and 76 millimeters and also has adjustable focus. The package contains one binocular viewer, a power extension cable and lens cleaning cloth. Now, Mike, yes, yours is here too. So uh, let's just uh, put my phone up here and then kind of try to bend it. And first I will open the uh, a track transformer kit. So I need a cutter here to cut this box open. I believe that's a scalpel. A scalpel, whatever. Um, all right. That's a precision tool. Precision scalpel tool, cutter, something. I won't be that precise in ripping this apart. But uh, this is yours, Mike. You see, the one which I'm opening, this is yours. <laughs> Anyway, so the box, the box is a well-known box through the Dominator V3, it's very similar to that, it's a soft case on the top, but then inside it's a hard box, there we go, let me put this aside, there, you guys can still see it on the side, it has the soft cover on it. Ooh, look at that. It covers, there is a cover, an orange cover, and it comes with the transformer in the box. All right, the transformer, you can see the monitors in there. Daniel, to periscope, we'll show it as well. There. Very nice, very nice. Excellent. Now we can uh, take the monitor out by just a simple click. It's a beautiful 720p monitor with a very bright screen. It's all, it's just bigger than my phone by a bit. Yes, and we can see inside Fetchark's unique double mirror solution for this, right? Yeah. And the monitor has, of course, a diversity receiver as well. So if you put it back in place, yeah. Also in the box we have the brand new, and this is what many of you guys have been waiting for, the uh, 18650 headset battery case. So this is the one which will replace the current LiPo batteries from FetchRack. It can clip open like that, and we can slide in if I go and I find some um, 18650 batteries, just one sec. Yeah, there are two batteries here. These are like kind of uh, 4000 milliamp Samsung batteries. So let's slide them in. Let's slide that in. Close it, lock it. And as you can see, the LED lights up showing that 
the batteries are fully charged now we can plug it in onto the side of the goggles and first let me just grab it in there I don't know if you can see any image inside uh, probably not yes there is an RF 16 by 9 full image it shows there is of course no image coming through because there is no uh, video broadcast here at this point but looking into it it gives us a beautiful view of the goggles now also inside of the box we have this beautiful case which actually it's going to be probably coming on if you want to replace the back of the monitor the back of the monitor with the fetch hack you see this probably will come in here and we replace this one where the strap would strap in um, there is also a battery extension cable inside of the box so you can fit the battery in the back of the headset here there is a little pocket for it so it's on your on the back of your head there is also a manual a uh, a QC card and we have a lens cleaning cloth inside and also uh, we have a sticker a fetch hack sticker so a that's in sticker. this beautiful box uh, the manual will explain you that when you power this thing on you will have to push this button within the first 10 seconds to select the mode and it can switch between uh, uh, 4x3 image to 16x9 RF image using both of the antennas or only one of the actually both of the antennas it can switch to HDMI or it can switch to other views as well now since I see that we have a customer let me just put coming in let me just put this aside for a second and then quickly open the binocular view as well binocular viewer so you can see what's inside of this one and uh, what would the price be for this one uh, the price of that is 249 us dollars i believe and to whatever it comes out to in canadian dollars mm -hmm. now the transformer binocular viewer is going to be oh, and we have a customer yeah we have realized the customer to stay quiet we have a broadcast here for a sec <laughs> all right so the binocular viewer looks identical almost identical to the other one you see it has a beautiful case this is a little bit different than the other one you see you have a lens adjustments on one side and on the other side right you have the ipd adjustment on the bottom so okay you can adjust the ipd and also you have a lens uh, extension cable a power extension cable in the box so the monitor from the other one and we're gonna take it out right now as i took it out from the other one we can nicely fit it in and lock it in into this viewer so now this is a beautiful binocular viewer and uh, as you can see um, the IPD is adjustable on the bottom as I said between 55 and I'm not sure what's the top uh, setting on that now let me see if there are any questions um, very nice cool I don't see many questions here uh, da, da, da. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and we'll be back with more details later and Daniel says that it's price on this one the price on the binocular viewer alone without the monitor It's 40 US dollars and whatever it comes out to Canadian and The upper IPD would be good HDMI. Yes It has HDMI in the mini HDMI on that side. It has a USB on this side for probably upgrades and so on it has a channel up and down button and also the middle button it's kind of a joystick type uh, button you can push it in as well for mode selection and once it's locked into mode after that it's brightness and contrast All right let me show you to the other one as well anyway thanks guys i gotta go and take care of my customers so thanks for watching <laughs>